Well guys, I would just like to show you a couple more generous channel donations from this generous lady that I've been helping. And what we have here is two older iPhones. This one is a 5C, 5C is in cat. And speaking of cat, they're smirky. And anyway, this thing is in beautiful shape. It was in a uh, Otterbox case. I just took it out of the case so you could get a good look at it here. But it's orange. I've never seen an orange iPhone in person. It's very bright and colorful. But the screen is very uh, gorgeous on this thing. It works just fine. I had to uh, you know, do a total factory reset on them, put my information in here. These are AT&T phones, which that's the network we're on. And so that's not an issue. I just put a new SIM card in it and it'll work just fine. Actually, I got one I'm gonna try. It's a paid SIM card. I'll stick it in there and uh, see how it works here. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this is very, uh, very, very nice. This is a, it's a, it's a really nice phone here. And I was very, again, very surprised that uh, she had that. And so she donated that to my channel. Very nice of her. And it does have the uh, latest version of software on it, which is 10.3.3. And as far as the iPhone 5C, this was introduced on September 2013. They offered it in a 16 and 32 gigabyte model. And then in March of 2014, there was a 8 gig. This phone was discontinued in 2014, the 16 and 32 gigabyte models, and in September of 2015, the 8 gigabyte model was discontinued. This is the iPhone identifier of 5,3, and again, it's the uh, Apple A1532. And like I said, this phone is just in beautiful shape. There's really, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's an OtterBox case, so OtterBox has a, uh, screen protector on it and it's uh, all the back part of it and the sides are in a silicone enclosure and there's a hard enclosure on top of that. So when I'm done modeling these here for you guys, uh, showing these off, I will put this back into the enclosure. Uh, these are finally charged. When I first got these things, it took about 35 minutes before it even would try to charge up. These things were dead, dead, dead. But they seem to be holding the charge pretty good actually and it's hooked to our Wi-Fi network. But in size comparison to the 4S, you can see it is a, a little bit uh, more screen length on it there. But it's the same screen width, but boy, it sure looks small compared to my 7 Plus. And this is what they look like uh, in the OtterBox case. This is the cases that they came in. That's why they're in like brand new shape. Because again, she always puts everything in a case, just like the iPad. The iPad is absolutely flawless. These are just absolutely clean as a whistle. And that's what that little leopard there, and her friend made that for her a long time ago. This little strap goes around your wrist there. And then this is for the, uh, this one's for the uh, iPhone 5C. And this is the outer box case for that one too. This has got a screen protector on it. So that's why uh, the screen is in perfect shape on that. But yeah, I'm just uh, very pleased. So let's go to the iPhone 4S. So this is the iPhone 4S. Now, you know, I did a live stream on a iPhone 4 and it didn't turn out very well because the, looks like the logic board is damaged down it and it looks like it had water damage according to uh, Jay from House of Moth. So something got spilled on it once upon a time. Well, on the other hand, this one here works beautiful. It works absolutely gorgeous. Now this does have a screen protector on it and the screen protector looks a little weird. It's, it's kind of like scratchy, but I actually peeled that off and it, the screen is absolutely perfect on this thing. It's just that this, the type of case this was in, that's the screen protector that went on it. And again, this was an OtterBox case too. So I will put that back in there, but you can see it looks nice and pretty on the back there. Very nice. And this is the A1387. This is the last year that they made this particular model. And so they introduced this in October of 2011 in the 16, 32, or 64 gigabyte 
option and then they discontinued them in September of 2012, the 32 gigabyte model and the 64 gigabyte model. And in September of 2013, the 16 gigabyte model, September 14, the eight gigabyte model. And the model identifier on this is four comma one. Again, this is the A1387. And this one has the, uh, the A5 chip in it. And that iPad that I showed you last week that was also donated by her has the A5X chip in it. And then the 5C here has the A6 chip in it. And the processor speed is 1.3 gigahertz on this one here. And the processor speed on the 4S here with the A5 chip is a one gigahertz processor speed. Great phones. They're vintage by today's standard now. Um, although the 5C, maybe some people still use this one too. You could use both of them. It is a, a 3G phone. And of course, this is a 4G phone. Um, just like the uh, 7 Plus is there. And it's a 3G phone, which AT&T is going to stop dropping service for the 3G network and I believe it's uh, August or September of 2022. So once they drop to service, then that will no longer be able to get on the cellular network. I also got another one from her, but it was dead. Um, it makes noise and everything. The screen doesn't, screen doesn't work on it. And that's why we took it apart on the live stream and determined that it does have something wrong at the logic board and it's not feasible to get a new logic board for it because I could actually get a working phone for what it would cost me just to get a, a logic board for it. And maybe I'll do that because the case is in beautiful shape and it's an iPhone 4. So I'm getting quite a collection of iPhones. This is my iPhone 3 and it's in beautiful shape and it works. It can still, because I do have a card, I do have my cellular card in this. This is also AT&T, and it works just fine. So, kind of nice to see how they have evolved over the years. Pretty interesting. I would show you my 7 Plus, but I'm using it right now to uh, record this video with. But yeah, um, very nice lady. And another thing that she gave me a little while back, it's not really an Apple product. And she also donated this uh, Palm Pilot to me, which is uh, a pretty cool little thing. It's not an actual Apple product, but uh, push on the button there, the time comes up on it. These are one of the uh, ver very early PDAs. And there's a uh, stylist on it here. Let me get it out. And you can, like I said, it's got a black and white screen on it here. And you can hit the uh, the home button here. Let's wake it up here. There we go. And you hit the home button and there's all kinds of little uh, applications you can do on it here. Pretty cool. Maybe. There's all kinds of different applications you can get on it there. And then uh, apologize if it's kind of hard to see here. So like I said it's got a, a black and white screen doesn't really have much of it. It does have a, uh, a backlight on it. I mean, actually, let me turn it on here. Yeah, it's got a calculator function on it. Uh, you can make uh, over here, you can copy, paste, go back to the home button here. And there's just all kinds of apps like making phone calls. Um, it has your like phone directory on here. Very interesting how these evolved over the years but yeah so that works just fine and when you close this it will go into sleep mode in about a minute so it's pretty pretty good nice little little gadget like I said I got the charger the dock and everything for it pretty neat so yeah so I thought I would just share this with you guys but a very gracious lady she's been donating things to me and uh, she has a couple other things she's going to give me too. 
And then uh, she has a couple friends that might be giving me something too. Uh, and it's more in the computer part of it. So I'd be curious to see what that is. A lot of donations here to the channel and I really, really appreciate it. So I'll move that there out of the way. So, all right guys, so hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please click and subscribe. We're also on MeWe and Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter and MeWe. And on that note, you guys have a great rest of your day. Love your family and have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.